Hi, it's Matthew Wagner uh, here, and I appreciate you listening to my podcast. The podcasts are brought to you by my website, which is panicattackrecovery.com, and I have a free newsletter that I would encourage you to sign up for. And uh, part of the um, ongoing podcast and, and a part of my newsletter is that I discuss natural things that can help with anxiety. Now, by natural, I'm not just referring to supplements, but rather I think that natural can be thought of as three broad categories. So three broad categories really of taking care of yourself, if you will. So the three things are, one, eating healthy, two, doing healthy things, and three, taking proper supplements. So today I would like to focus on a healthy thing that many people often overlook, but yet something that's very important. What am I talking about? Well, I want to start with a question. How many times have you heard that you should drink plenty of water? I'm pro- thinking probably um, many times you've been either told this or heard this. At any rate, the, the great news really is that water is either free or quite inexpensive, and it's something you can start getting more of right away. Some medical doctors state that a person weighing, say, 200 pounds should be drinking about eight glasses a day. And those weighing more or less need to adjust at least by a glass or two. Of course, if one is taking medication, then he or she should discuss any sudden fluctuation of water levels with his or her doctor, because that could certainly affect uh, the, it could certainly influence the effect that the medication is having. So definitely check that out with your doctor. Now, I'm not here to preach, but but to me, drinking adequate amounts of water is very important. I can speak from personal experience, uh, because I started increasing my water intake a while back, and I... I noticed that I had more energy throughout the day, and I even even would eat less, um, which was a good thing because I certainly had a few pounds I could lose. Overall, I felt better, though. And, you know, had I not been concentrating on what changes I had made, I may not have attributed this to the water at all. But it really started me thinking, this experience, that is, really started me thinking about how important things are and, and how important things like water are. Uh, but yet how overlooked they are. But I I really wanted to ponder a little bit more on water, so I started thinking about things like, for people that are really ill, how many of them drink enough water? What if they did? For people that are constantly buying more supplements, or say trying the next health craze, how many of them drink enough water? Again, what if they did? How many doctors ask their patients how much water they're consuming when they present with a medical problem? If everyone were to consume enough water, would this impact sales for the pharmaceutical industry? These are not um, simply questions that I propose to have the answer for, but they're questions that I think um, really make you think. These points really make me think, and, um, you know, uh, something to think about for sure. You see, for me, doing healthy things such as consuming adequate amounts of water. Again, going back to the principles I talked about, eating healthy, doing healthy things, taking proper supplements, are all part of a nice, I guess you'd say, strategy for anxiety, panic attack, but for overall wellness. You see, for me, I, I really believe that, that this can be a, a, a helpful thing for anxiety. Not in the sense that you're going to all of a sudden cure your panic attacks or you start drinking more water, but it's overall helpful for your brain and, um, and it's helpful for your, your body. You know, it can be quite relaxing when you think about it. Uh, As an anxiety sufferer, it can be quite relaxing when you know that you're addressing your self-care, you're taking care of yourself, you know, you're doing the healthy things. Because you can rest assured knowing you're addressing a variety of aspects of your health. Because you see, many anxiety sufferers worry about their physical health, not just their mental health. So taking care of this area of health can be quite calming. It certainly was for me when I was overcoming my anxiety and panic attacks. At least it is reassuring or it's one less thing to worry about if it's now being addressed. So if you weren't drinking enough water and now you start drinking enough water or you start taking care of your physical health better than you weren't before, it's one less thing you you need to worry about. So I think one simple message that I would like to close with is that you should honestly look at your own hydration levels to ensure that you are getting enough water. So I thank you very much for listening to another podcast, and I do hope you take care. For more information on panic attack recovery, 
recover from agoraphobia and anxiety, please visit my website at panicattackrecovery.com and sign up for my free and continuous newsletter. Thank you. Material in this newsletter is provided for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for a psychologist, psychiatrist, or other health care provider's consultation. Please consult a psychologist, psychiatrist, or appropriate health care provider about the applicability of any opinions or recommendations with respect to your own panic attacks, anxiety, and agoraphobia, or any other symptom or condition.